Yo, this is MadV2099, and I'm bringing you my new toy. It is the USFA Zip 22 Long Rifle Pistol. Let's open this up. So what we have here is a polymer striker fired pistol with no slide. The only reciprocating parts are going to be your reload and restrike rod, which uh, makes this a really kind of interesting pistol. You can uh, you have different top plates, so you can put rails. Um, there's one that allows you to hook this up to a picatinny rail on the underside of your AR or whatever. So that's kind of what this seems to be designed for is kind of an under barrel 22 a long rifle pistol unfortunately I cannot do that in my state so this is going to be a weird little pistol just to shoot and have fun with you hold it like uh, like so you put your middle finger in here finger here thumb here here is your magwell let's, let's check the chamber this is how you're supposed to check the chamber hold it like this Push down, and you also have a fire control indicator here. So if it's cocked and ready to shoot, you have this little, uh, the base of your striker there. And since it is empty and it's striker fired, you know, pull the trigger. I'm aiming up in a safe direction. There you go. And there you go. So we have heat fence, a Picatinny rail, two laws. This is your load rod. This is your restrike rod. So if you need to uh, restrike around and hit that, your top rail comes off pretty easy. So you can see there, you lift that up really high and pull back. That comes off. And they have different replaceable covers that have uh, different features. On the flip side, you have your takedown tool. And this gives you access to your striker, spring, and whatever. Uh, putting the top plate back on is pretty easy. You just shove it in here. Oops, back. And then lift, push, there you go. These are grip surfaces, kind of still pretty slick, but that's what they're called. Uh, your ejection port is angled in such a manner that all your brass is supposed to come out at this angle. Straight forward at that angle, kind of in a cone like that. Magazine, magwell, and mag lever. So that's your mag lever. You push it that way. Regular, it's designed to work with these regular 10 round uh, Ruger magazines, which pop right in. And, oops. So that seems to be the easiest way to uh, take that mag out for me. Hold like that and pull down. The BX-25. <clears throat> Goes in there like so. It's in there. So I hold like this. It's almost one-handed. Same with these Butler Creeks. Okay, so for the size of the Zip gun, I'm gonna pull out a couple Glocks for comparison. This is the Glock 20, the uh, full-size 10 millimeter. You can see it's exactly the same width as the Glock 20. Like exactly. Uh, a 
pull out a subcompact lock. So anyways, that is the zip gun. I'm gonna do a full series on it, shooting it with all the different types of magazines, um, all the different types of ammunition I have. I'm gonna document all the shots, uh, take it down, clean it, modifications, and then uh, hopefully get into some more bizarre torture tests with this thing, see if we can either break it or just really see how freaking durable this thing is. And um, this will be a fun gun. Well, thanks for watching.